I'm just saying. I'm a mixture of conflicting emotions, anger and grief. Grief for the 19 second, third and fourth graders and two adults that were murdered yesterday by a 18 year old man that had two assault weapons. Two weapons that not only should be outlawed, but I assure you, people don't use them for hunting and they surely don't need them for protecting their homes. There is something wrong with the nation that says they're the greatest in the world, that thinks it's all right, that so far in 2022, there have been 288 school murders. 288 school shootings. There were only eight in what we are told to believe is the most violent country on our border, Mexico. The boogeyman of the cartels. Bodies, you have to be afraid. Mexico had eight school shootings. What's the difference? We could start by saying they can't afford guns. It's not their constitutional right. Is it a right to be able to murder people if you're mentally unfit, if you're angry because of how they speak, what they look like, what they say? But more importantly, why is it all right for someone's right to bear arms, which when the Constitution was written, was a mere musket to put my family, my friends, and my community at risk. We are told that we can't do anything. Yeah, we can do a lot. We can vote out politicians and legislatures that continue to show up and accept money from the National Rifle Association. We can be prepared to rally, to protest, to write letters and jam phones around the country until our Congress people and our legislatures take the lives that they say are so important seriously. Friday, May the 27th in Houston, Texas, the NRA is having a convention and Greg Abbott, the governor, and Ted Cruz, one of the senators, are scheduled to speak. Greg Abbott in famously quoted for saying when he found out that California had more weapons than Texas. Huh, Texas has to be number one. We can't let California beat us. He didn't say Texas needs to be number one to stop hunger, poverty, homelessness, killing of unarmed people, checking children that are being killed or forgotten in the foster care system in Texas. He didn't say we have to find homes for the people affected by floods that are still living in trailers. No, the governor of Texas took off every barrier, no licensing, no permits, don't have to have any classes. You can just go buy you a gun and you can open carry. If that's not a message that it's all right to use your Second Amendment right when and how you choose, what is? Pray. Well, prayer is like love. It's an action word. And after you pray, you have to do something. In 2019, when 51 people were killed in Christ Church, New Zealand, less than five weeks a month, the lawmakers and the prime minister had outlawed military style weapons and assault weapons. And the citizen willingly took their weapons and disposed of them, took them to drop off points because the murder of their fellow citizens, whether they went to that church or not, was so abhorrent that they wanted to make a statement. What statement are Americans make when murder after murder, if you go Google school shootings, like me, you can go all the way back to 2009 and you just want to stop. You can't walk down the street without fear of someone murdering you by gunshot. I keep hearing soft target. So I asked my beloved husband, what do they mean? What's a hard target? He was sitting at the table and he said, 
A hard target is the police and a military compound. Did you hear what I said? Police, which is supposed to have weapons, and a military compound. And I said, but the majority of people don't live in police stations. So that means the rest of us are soft targets? Yeah, I guess so. So I'm asking you today to do more than pray. I'm asking you today what I keep asking you, to use the power that you've been given, and it's not a gun. It's a vote, and it's your dollar. Stop supporting corporations and entity that support the NRA and sell guns. Why does a big box store need to sell guns? Don't you buy it at a gun shop? I don't buy chicken at a gun shop. I don't go to fast food restaurant and ask for a machete. I go to the appropriate store. We need to stop and we need to ask ourselves, what part of this am I responsible for? Because if it's anything less than voting out people that support gun rights over human life, if it's anything less than being repulsed by businesses that support gun makers and the NRA, it's time to act. Amanda Gorman tweeted out a quote, it takes a monster to kill children, but to watch monsters kill children again and again and do nothing isn't just insanity, it's inhumanity. America, until we recognize that all life is important and no right but the life to live should be fought for and voted for, it's time to step up. It's time to protect the children and our families. And it's time to live up to the ideals that we say we believe America is. Because anything less is inhumane. And that makes us, you fill in the blank. I'm just saying.